Hey everybody, this is Brian, and welcome to the, wow, all the way up to the 45th Qt tutorial with C++ and GUI programming. Man, wow, we've made a lot of these, but I think we've learned a lot. Today we're going to be covering the, um, what do we want to cover today? Let's do something a little bit different. Let's do QFill. So let's actually go in here and include QVector. Now in case you're wondering, QFill is another algorithm and what it does is it fills a container. So let's just say qvect and we're going to fill this with qstrings and let's call this vect and let's give it uh, 5. Now we have absolutely nothing in here. We have just a blank vector. So let's actually prove that for each qstring Help if I spelled QString right. For those of you that have been following along these tutorials, yes, I'm still not wearing glasses, so things are a little bit fuzzy for me, so bear with me. And there we go. And let's just print out our vector here. And we we'll compile and run this. Sure enough, we've got a blank vector. Now what we want to do is fill these with an initial value. So what we say is Q fill and we give it a container, in this case vect, and we give it the value and we'll just say hello world. Compile and run. And now all our items equal hello world. Now, if you were paying attention, you noticed that there was another way of doing this. You could give it positions. So let's just say vect begin plus one, and let's say vect dot end minus two, and then give it a value. And we'll all just say lol. My daughter loves saying that all the time. It drives me insane. Okay. So we have begin plus one and minus two, lol. That's how you give it a range to fill in. Very simple, very powerful algorithm. Um, it'll save you a lot of typing. This is Brian. I hope you found this tutorial educational and entertaining, and thank you for watching.